The data mapper also has advanced features. Before we get into the advanced features, let's see why we need them first. When you receive a spreadsheet from one of your suppliers, it will have to be cleaned by you. We refer to this spreadsheet as a dirty spreadsheet or dirty data. And the spreadsheet that I just showed you where some of the years were missing and some of the models were missing specifically for the automotive industry, we will create rules to fix all this data, parse it out and put it into the appropriate columns. So I already have a bunch of rules created, which is renaming body type, renaming doors, renaming engines, move words where they should go, such as the vehicle notes, remove general words which don't belong in the application field, rename makes and models that don't make sense, rename the GM car specifically and add the years to models that are missing. So once all the rules have been applied, you'll notice that all the makes and models are here, all the years are entered and everything has been fixed that was a mistake before. The next thing I want to do is I want to move the years over to placeholder 2 to separate them from the makes and models. So I already made some of the rules here to move the years over. I'm going to go ahead and apply them now. And now all the years went into placeholder 2 out of placeholder 1. Specifically for the automotive industry, I have a database that I can validate my makes and models against. So I'm going to say ACES transformation, and I'm going to say that my car make model and year, the raw data or the dirty data is located in placeholder one and two. I want to run it through the database to check if the data is accurate or not, and give me the results in placeholder three, four, five, and six. So what happened here is it gave me the results according to the ACES database and it showed me in red what models did not match with the year. In yellow it shows me the years that weren't matching. So once I approve of everything, I'm going to go to the final stages of the rules and the final stages says remove the wrong models and years. Again, that's the rule I made to remove the years that weren't matching for the years. Split the models up if there's two models in the same row separate the years because shopping car lead would like to get the start year and the end year in separate columns. So I'm going to go ahead and run those three rules now. So it cleaned up the wrong models, separated the years. Now I'm ready to move the data into the proper shopping car lead fields. So I'm saying move car data to ACES fields. I went ahead and did that. So I can delete placeholder in one and two, which is the raw data that I was fixing. And I see all the data in my shopping cart vehicle make model submodel in years. I'm going to go ahead and do a final ACES validation, which tells me if everything is perfect or not. So far, everything looks perfect. There was one which says 2004 through 2010, and it says the vehicle was only made in 2006. So I just went ahead and changed that one and everything else is perfect. So I took a completely raw, dirty data spreadsheet, I cleaned it up within a few minutes in Shopping Cart Elite, and I'm ready to import the product. And I showed this stage already on the basic Data Mapper Features video. The advanced rules on the Data Mapper can be applied to any industry, not only automotive, because the rules can be made by you using the regular expression language that I go over in the next few tutorials.